today we are trying to go somewhere where no other man has gone before. Wait, let me, let me, let me check if anyone's actually gone here before. It's searched for. I do not see it at all. So we are going somewhere that no one has ever gone before. We're making a tier list of the best gaming chairs. Who really is the best? Who really gives you the best bang per game? I, that's a weird phrasing. And first up is the hammock. Really only for mobile and maybe uh, Switch players. You can't really have a hammock in the middle of your living room uh, also. I mean, I did it, but it's really only for mobile people. It's gonna have to, uh, it's gonna have to be just a solid mid-tier. The bungee chair. A chair that is a lot of fun, but honestly, they're actually like hella uncomfortable. And when you're gaming, you really wanna like lean into it, uh, because let's face it, at some points it gets very intense and you really need the win. The bungee chair never allows you to get that good lean in. The fact that your butt touches the floor, I think uh, it's a low tier. It's a low tier gaming chair. The only thing that's uh, redeemable for the bungee chair is that it's light and you can move it as close to the screen as possible. I do have a soft spot for the camping chair. One, they could be aesthetically pleasing. You can get them in whatever color. Most of them have cup holders like this one and they're comfortable too. We're looking at the first high tier. Ooh, the yard chair. Now compared to the camping chair, the yard chair, definitely a little less comfortable. You could get a better lean on a yard chair than you can with a camping chair. I mean, none of them look good. Is there a good looking yard chair? I think this is another high tier, but it doesn't beat the camping chair. The beach chair. I actually think this is a much worse chair than the yard chair. Two things. One, it sits a little bit lower to the ground, so you probably can't get a good angle on the TV. They lounge more than a yard chair, so you're like sitting back, maxing and relaxing, which you don't need that for a game 24 seven. It's good for like single player games. The yard chair definitely has this beat by a large margin. Uh, it doesn't look any better than a yard chair. Despite having very similar features of the yard chair, I think the beach chair is actually a mid-tier and it's worse than the hammock. The futon, worse at being a bed than the bed and it's worse than being a couch than the couch. They can get incredibly uncomfortable. You can't move them close to the screen. I think I'm thinking it's a low tier. Uh, I'm thinking it's better than the bungee chair. Vent seating. I'm gonna call this like a, f a vent seating chair one. These things last forever. For some reason, I kind of feel like they do make you play a little bit better. They have the solid like stability, but they do have the cushions to make it like a little bit better. I mean, I've been to gaming events with these chairs and nothing says gaming like that. It's a high tier. It's beating the yard chair, but I don't think it's better than a camping chair. Oh, maybe it actually, no, I think it is better than a camping chair. Event seating number two. I like event seating chairs. And this one is like the best version of it. You have no idea how long I looked for this specific chair on the internet. I needed a nice picture of this chair. I have no idea how long I looked for it. I think this is the perfect event seating chair. I still don't think it's a top tier. It's either extremely high, high tier or very low top tier. We're gonna put it in high tier for now. So far, that is definitely the best gaming chair that we have seen so far. The bean bag. So the bean bag chair is an interesting one because if you have one of the small ones, and I think this one is one of the small ones, they're kind of crappy. I mean, if you sit in it long enough, eventually the beads just keep on parting way to uh, your arse and it will touch the floor. And that's a little uncomfy. It's the best low tier, the elementary school chair. If anyone's main gaming chair is this chair right here, I think you need to get your life in order. I think it's a good secondary chair. Whip out this bad boy because it's super light, super small, and then put this in front of the TV and use it as a secondary chair, specifically for intense moments. There's no way that if you actually gamed on one of these bad boys for eight hours, you wouldn't have back pain. Is that how you spell secondaries? Is secondary is a word? It's a secondary chair. No one should main this chair. Ooh, a classic, a true classic, the bed. Really the only drawback that I see in the bed for it to be close to your TV, your TV basically has to be close to it. You can't really move your bed in front of the TV. It's just a really solid gaming chair. This is definitely a high tier. I think it's the highest high tier. I think it's the best 
Best gaming chair so far. An end table. It's uncomfortable. It's hard. Most likely if you're using this, you're actually at like a friend's place or you're not at your own place. And there's not enough seating and you guys are like playing Mario Kart or whatever. We're looking at our first trash contestant. There's absolutely no way that an end table is a good gaming chair. No one has ever done anything sick sitting on an end table. Ooh, the coffee table. So I feel like the coffee table, one, your main gaming chair might be your couch. And the game's getting a little intense and the coffee table puts you a little bit closer to the action. Coffee table, once again, not a main gaming chair. It's not better than the elementary school uh, chair, I will say. The stool. Now, I know in one of my TikToks, I think I gave it a two out of 10, but I was thinking of the stool as a main gaming chair. This is all you got. It's actually great in those clutch scenarios because if you needed a kill. There is nothing that would put you closer to the action than a stool. I'm gonna call it now. It is probably the best secondary. Now, the bar stool. If a bar stool is your main gaming chair, you're a psychopath. These aren't even really comfortable as a chair. These things are awful. Your feet can't touch the ground. I'm gonna say it, this is probably the worst gaming chair. It's not even a good secondary. I'd rather stand than sit on one of these things. It's even worse than an end table. The 90s office chair. These things are almost 100% all the time broken in some way but it's still operational as a chair. Durability wise, if you don't mind having a broken chair, these things will last forever. Are they a good gaming chair? Uh, well, you got wheels and stuff to be mobile. You can put yourself next to the screen. Are they comfortable? No, the pad went out like 15 years ago. I'm thinking it's mid tier. Yeah, it's the worst mid tier. You're definitely gonna need to take like stretch breaks. Ooh, an old man. Is an old man a good gaming chair? Okay, this is actually standing, but you actually have no idea how hard it is to find a picture of someone just... Standing as a gaming chair, doing it all the time sucks, but as a secondary, it's good. It kind of takes, it does elevate your play to another level, but if you use it too much, it almost starts meaning like, doesn't mean anything anymore. For a gaming chair, standing is definitely a secondary. I think in instances it's better than the coffee table, but I think I'm gonna put it worse than the coffee table. The accent chair, it's just a chair. I think this is the hardest mid-tier in the world. This is just a chair. This one's close to my heart. The upside down bucket. I truly did actually play like a small Super Smash Brothers tournament in a, uh, in a garage. They didn't really have seating, but I found a bucket and I was playing like a god, but I don't think it's a good gaming chair. Yeah, it's probably a low tier. In fact, it's probably the worst low tier. I'm not putting it in trash. Absolutely not. I cannot do that to such a good friend. All right, hear me out. We are looking at the first top tier for many reasons. One, you can get it in as many colors as you want. Two, they're super light. You can get these things right up to the screen. Three, they're like surprisingly comfortable. Like honestly, I have legitimately gamed in a plastic lawn chair. I guess this is what it is, plastic lawn chair, for eight hours before. And they're super cheap. You could throw them really well. People would probably give you a weird look if you just had like a plastic chair in the middle of your room, but like, that's just because they haven't tried it. Absolute top tier of a ch gaming chair. Absolutely. Oh, the wooden kitchen chair. Now this is a staple of the gaming chair community. Honestly, we just had back to back top tiers because the thing that really want, like cements this into a top tier for me, I don't know how many of you actually watch competitive Super Smash Brothers Melee, but when the pandemic hit, uh, there was one pro that absolutely went on a tear, did it on a wooden kitchen chair, shout out to Zane. Absolute top tier. I do think it's better than a plastic chair. Ooh, the wheelchair. This chair is completely underrated. It's literally a chair that is meant to be sat in basically the entire day. You turn yourself into quite literally a mobile gamer. You never need to get up from it. They are actually pretty comfy. I'm high up on wheelchairs. I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, do we got another top tier? <laughs> is this another top tier? And you can get it in any color that you want, really. I mean, they have some pretty snazzy wheelchairs out there. Definitely better than the wooden kitchen chair. The ottoman, 
Wow, completely switching gears. I know most people might be thinking like Ottoman kind of in the same realm as like a coffee table. I will say that the Ottoman can actually be considered its own main chair. There are definitely people that would prefer to game on their Ottoman. You can lift that bad boy up and move it as close to the screen as you want. The Ottoman, for some odd reason, you cannot stick with one seated position on it. It takes you away from the gaming experience when you need to like get up and move yourself multiple times. I think it's a mid tier. The couch quite literally might be most people's first gaming chair. I'm not high up on couch stonk. Couches are a little overrated. That being said, they are a heavy staple. If you look at any like casual gaming channel, they use a couch. I'm thinking it's a mid tier. Worse than a hammock. I like that spot for a couch. To be totally honest about the recliner, worse than the couch. I think it's better than the chair. Ah, uh, it's better than an, is it better than an ottoman? I actually don't think, honestly, I'm high up on ottoman stock. The rocking chair. I don't think rocking is good for gaming. The existence of rocking chairs actually absolutely baffles me. Because if you think about it, you're like, why would you want to rock in a chair? Also, if you rock too far back, you get that like weird sensation where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die, you know? And because of that, oh my gosh, I'm going to die sensation, it's going to have to be a low tier. It's not better than the futon or beanbag. What can I say about the toilet that many people don't already know about the toilet? Spectacular seat. Can't really have a TV and or gaming console, gaming console or PC, in your bathroom for that reason that it's only Really for Switch users, PSP users, DS users, Zune users, mobile gamers, the toilet will have to go with the mid-tier. I think it's better than a hammock. The yoga ball, it's round. I think the yoga ball is, a, uh, is not a great gaming chair. It encourages you to like get up more often than like a normal gaming chair would. I think it's another low tier. You could have a yoga ball like slip out underneath you in a very intense situation and anything that's a detriment to gaming has to be punished severely. Oh, we're swapping over to hashtag floor gang. I do prefer carpets. I never want to rate carpets high because someone's going to be like, Oh my gosh, a carpet's better than a couch? Being able to sit right in front of your TV, especially if your TV's on the ground, that's a huge advantage. For that reason, I think it's better than a couch. You know what, I think this is the bottom of high tier. The natural progression from going from carpet to hardwood, terrible, absolutely awful. There's no way that sitting on hardwood is actually enjoyable for anyone in the world. Straight into the trash. If you know me, you already know this is my baby. Love myself a good folding chair. Now this one specifically, the all metal one, it doesn't have a padded cushion or anything on it. You get it in any color you want. Super portable, really supportive. I have bought multiple office chairs. I go back to actually just sitting on a folding chair so off. It's a top tier. It, no question about it in my mind. It's better than the wooden chair, not better than a wheelchair. The plastic folding chair. Now these ones are a little bit more flexible. I would say they're probably a tiny bit more comfortable because of that flexibility, but they're also not as durable. I'm thinking it's a high tier. It wants to be a metal folding chair. That's what I'm saying. No, camping chair is better. It's, it's better than a yard chair. <sighs> Now this is my true baby, because you already know, you already know the padded folding chair. Oh, love these things. The executive office chair. It's not very good looking, but it's really comfortable. Uh, you can put yourself right up to the screen and you can kind of lounge in it. I'm thinking there. Because I know what's next. And it's the actual office chair. I actually have two office chairs here. And uh, because I accidentally messed up. But we're only going to be putting one up. I love myself a mesh back office chair. My secondary chair is a mesh back office chair. Um, man, I have to be true to myself. And it's probably, I mean, it has to be at the top of the top tier. It has to be. Now on my TikTok, I haven't really talked 
like basically at all about gaming chairs because I'm going to be totally honest. I think they're complete gimmicks because they are not comfortable. I worked at a place. It was like a gaming store. They bought a bunch of these GT racing chairs. And after sitting in them like for hours, they're uncomfortable. They collect your butt sweat way too well. These two pillows are so unuseful. The top one always sags and the bottom one just sucks. And it's modeled after a racing chair. I'm sorry, you might be gaming, but it's not as intense as racing a car. And you do not need a bucket seat, which are, by the way, even in cars, uncomfortable. That's why they, a lot of car companies stop advertising their bucket seats. It's because they're stupid and uncomfortable and they're expensive. I mean, GT racing, I think they're a little bit on the cheaper side, but most of them run for like 300 bucks. I think GT racing runs like 150. You can get like a really nice office chair for $150 and it would be way more comfortable and they don't look bad because you're only getting a gaming chair for the aesthetic to be honest, right? And if the aesthetic is really that important to you, yeah, it's worth it. But no, I don't think gaming chairs are good. They're bad at being chairs. So uh, specifically for kind of only the aesthetic, I think it is high tier. I'm thinking it's that mid tier, honestly, because I was thinking maybe top tier, but all these chairs let you game in them better because once again, like, the racing style seat makes you lounge back so you can't really like lean in to game. I think that might be the end of it. <gasps>so this is my final tier list looking it over again um i realized i ranked carpet better than a gaming chair uh, i'm gonna keep it like that uh, because honestly a gaming chair if the aesthetic is really that important to you get a gaming chair but if you're actually looking for a comfortable chair there are way better options out there if i missed any gaming chairs leave it down in the comment if you don't like my tier list you could have been there live and influenced my decision you know like followed my twitch or you could like like this video and maybe subscribe to me i don't know crazy but thanks for watching wait the tent's in the wrong spot